we now have a choropleth map with an informative legend. In this video, we will use D3 to add zooming functionality to our map. First, we will add a click handler to our code, which will cause our map to zoom in and out appropriately. Next, we will learn more about translations, which we use to perform zooming. Finally, we will briefly take a look at the D3 Zoom module and its many options. Let's get started. We will start off by making one very small update to our code in preparation for zooming. Add a new attribute on our county G element, cursor, pointer. This change simply updates our cursor whenever we hover over a county on our map. Let's take a look in our browser. Now we can clearly tell that each of these counties are clickable, and we should expect some form of interactivity when clicking, in our case, zooming. Let's set up our zoom click handler now. Let's continue to follow the pattern of creating a settings object. Our zoom settings will be pretty basic. We want to set a zoom duration in milliseconds, which is simply how long our zoom will take. The larger the number, the slower the zoom. Let's initialize this to 1000 milliseconds, or one second. We will also set up an easing function, which according to the D3 documentation, is a method of distorting time to control apparent motion in an animation. We will choose d3.easeCubicOut, which starts out relatively quick then slows down towards the end of the animation. We should also set a zoom level. The higher the number, the closer we will zoom in on the clicked county. We will initialize this to 5. Now it's time to set up our click handler. Each time a user clicks anywhere on our map, this function will get triggered. We begin by declaring some variables we will be using within this function, namely x and y coordinates, as well as the zoom level. Now comes the interesting portion of our click handler. First, we check to see if the user clicked on an element with data, one of the counties, and whether that county is already centered. If the user indeed clicked on a county, which is not currently centered, we grab the centroid of that GeoJSON object by use of D3's path.centroid function. We set our x coordinate to the x coordinate of this centroid, which is the zero index of centroid. Likewise, we grab the y coordinate from index 1. We then set our zoom level to the value from our settings object, and the centered property is set to our current county, D. On the other hand, if the user clicked outside of the map, or clicked on a county which they were already zoomed and centered on, then the x and y coordinates, zoom level, and centered properties would be set back to their defaults. Now that we have our variables properly set, we will use a D3 transition along with a translation to properly zoom in or out. A transition is an animated change to the DOM. You can learn more about them on the D3 transitions page on GitHub. Our transition we'll make use of the duration and ease we set earlier in our settings object. The final line of our click handler makes use of transform in order to translate our view to the current state specified by the x and y coordinates as well as the zoom level. Let's take a look at the results in the browser. We now have zooming functionality on our map. Click a county to zoom in and center the map. Click on the same county outside the map 
or double click to zoom back out. Let's tweak our settings to see the effect they have on our zoom. Here, we've increased our zoom level from 5 to 20, and you can see the result. Here, we've tripled the zoom duration to 3000 milliseconds, and you can see how much slower zooming in and out is. And here, we've updated the easing function to d3.ease bounce in, and you can see the dramatic effect. Obviously, this is not the desired easing for a map, but there are cases where this easing could work well for a visualization. I encourage you to check out other easing options on the D3Ease GitHub page and play around with them to see their effects. In the final video of this section, we will be adding custom tooltips to our map.